Good morning. Welcome to Coffee and Crafts. I'm Linda Cullen from Crafty Stampin'. And welcome. It's been a little bit of time since we've been off, and I knew there'd be something just wouldn't be set right. All right, so I mute that. Welcome. So we are going to be making a fun Valentine's Day card with the Postcard Pals stamp set. I have to say, this is one I haven't used. Um, and I just thought the little otter with the mailbox would make a perfect Valentine's card. And to the point where I actually stamped and colored this card probably a month ago. But I just did the, the, the image and he's been sitting here on my desk. And I um, yesterday I was like, you know what, That's I'll use that. I'll make a Valentine's Day card today. Well, I made it this morning, put the card together. I'm in love with it, so I can't wait to show you. I go, so I hope you guys like it. Let me pull it over. One, two, three, here we go. Isn't he cute? So, um, so it's a little otter holding the letter, so he is sending his Valentine's Day card in the mail, and then I went all lovely lipstick all over this card with a large combination of um, the DSP and the All My Love, uh, paper and just went crazy. So we're going to make this. I will, like I said, I mean, I colored him about a month ago, so I don't a hundred percent remember all the colors I've used with the blend. So let's see what we get when I try to recreate it. Um, but before we get going, as a lot of you know, um, I like to do a little, uh, thank yous with some, uh, giveaways. So let me show you what those are today. So, oh, picked on. Oh, okay. Yes. Here we go. What's later? Did I, I think I may have put the wrong thing up. Hold on. Okay, I did. Oh, I put the wrong thing up. So we're gonna pick the winner for the watch later, that being the Just Because in a minute. I'm actually giving away uh, Home to Roost. So here, we'll flick down here. So the Home to Roost, let me do that in a second. And a six by six pack. Oh, and this is a Glimmer Paper assortment. So it's got the, um, Bermuda Bay, Mint Macaron, and Sweet Sugar Plum in here. Those are a six by six. So this is I'm going to pick at the end of this broadcast. So hang around at the very end. If you've left a comment, um, I will pick for the um, Glimmer Paper. But ignore the just because. That's what we're going to pick our winner from last week. So I screwed up there. So it's Home to Roost um, is going to be our uh, giveaway for next week. Um, so if you leave a comment, uh, you will be entered in to win the home to roost. If you share this video on any social media platform and then comment shared, uh, I will add you in for a second entry into home to roost. You know, just, you think you got everything all put together correctly and you don't. Um, so let's go pick, hold on. Do I have this? Yeah, I have the right image in this one. So let's pick right now for the Just Because uh, stamp set from uh, January 23rd's Coffee and Crafts. And so we'll jump over here to random.org. You will see everyone's name is in random.org. And if they shared this video and left the comment shared, they have a second entry. So I'm gonna quickly flip by, because I like people to be able to see um, their names to see that they did get actually entered into the drawing. Um, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to hit randomize and the name that pops to top will be our winner. Bum, bum, bum. And it is Angela Nielsen. Now, I think I saw Angela on here right off the bat. Angela, uh, if you head over to craftystampin.com, which is somewhere around here, and go to specials, giveaways, come on. Slow, slow, slow. And click this big button that says claim your prize and fill out the form. I will get that out to you. It does take, uh, you do have two weeks to do that. And I usually send them out within a couple days. So let's come back here. So before we get coloring, I got one more thing I want to share with you. I am doing online classes again, which basically means I have designed a pack of four cards and a cute little box to hold them all in and you will get a full video instruction as well as pdf and you're buying the stamp set and the dies and there's also a option to get just paper or just the pdf but i was going to give you a little sneak peek 
of this. This uh, link to sign up for this is above in Facebook and will be below later on YouTube. Uh, so if we jump down here, nope, to this and come here. All right, let me move my little guy aside. I'm gonna give you a quick little uh, sneak peek. So this is the little stationary box that you'll be making to hold the card. And it's got the cute little library clip with the ribbon to hold it. And it will hold all, so you're gonna make two, it'll have the supplies to make two of each card. So it'll be eight cards in total. You're gonna be making uh, two of each and it'll hold all the envelopes as well. And these are the cards that you will be able to make with this online class. And some of them, oops, turn this one right side up. I have, oh, I glue stuff for photos that shouldn't be glued in real life. Hold on. Um, so we got some fun folds, come here, you know, that we're gonna make. And this is the cute, again, I glue stuff I shouldn't glue. Um, some fun folds with these cards. Um, but these are great to have. It's fun to be able to make a bunch of cards. You can either gift the whole set to somebody so they have a bunch of cards, or you can um, you can gift the whole thing um, as uh, as a project for somebody, a project kit. Um, but then you have a bunch of fun birthday cards. Uh, so that is available through the fifteenth on my website, and the link to that is above on Facebook and below on uh, YouTube. So let's get going. So anyone who popped in late, let me just show off what we are making today. We are working with the Postcard Pals um, stamp set to try and make a really fun um, Valentine's Day card that's very pink. <laughs> it's screaming lovely lipstick. So good morning, everybody. I see everyone popping on. All right, so let's flip over here. Let me tweak my camera. Seems to be a little sideways. All right, so let's start over here. Like I said, I made this card um, literally, well, I, I, I stamped and colored the otter um, like a month ago. So I got, like I said, I got to remember what uh, color blends I used. I made the rest of the card this morning, but let's see. So I got all my papers here. So again, like usual, or not, I will have a blog, blog post recap in about an hour. And I will have a downloadable PDF picture, all the cut sizes, all the products. I've already started making notes of what I have goofed up on here. So I'll fix that before I uh, put it up. Um, but so that you don't have to take notes and you have a list of everything that um, you can make. So we're going to uh, start with my card base. And I'm going to leave the camera pulled out for a minute because I'm going to go pretty much straight to die cutting. Yes, let's do that first. Or, you know what, you know what, let's stamp first. So we have that has a chance to dry. So let me pull you in a smidge. All right. So this is my buddy, the otter, again, from Postcard Pals. There he is. And I have to say, I. He's adorable, but so are these other two. So we got a, what, a platypus and a pelican with a fish. I mean, all right, you can't get cuter than that. And I have to say, I must must be a new um, uh, graphic artist at Stampin' Up! Because I've never seen images um, like look like this in any of the catalogs before, and I love them. I, I hope there's more like this uh, in future catalogs. All right, so um, I inked him up in Memento, and I'm stamping him yep, on the shimmery white. I was just like, oh, I don't like that as much. All right, we're going to try one more time. This one I should, probably should have done this with the Stamparatus, and I could have just done it multiple times. Hold on. You know what we're going to do? Ba -ba -ba. We're going to re-ink, because I don't know about you, oh, someone said they got the message twice. I got the message twice. First, for the longest time, I wasn't getting any messages that I was going live, and today I got two. So, you know, feast or famine. Um, so, I, know, I was going to say, with the, the heat on in the house, um, 
here in lovely New England, uh, things get dry really quickly. So I have, find I have to re-ink more in the winter. So let's see if uh, this inks better. There we go. I like that better. He needed a re-inking. Get a baby wipe to get the ink off on my hands so I don't get everything all crazy. All right, I'm going to sit him. Well, I'll sit him for a second. Where is? All right. Now I'll bring the big shot out for a minute. Okay. All right, so I'm going to start with him. And I'm going to cut him out with, this is the largest, largest stitched shape oval. Like a bit of a tongue twister. And get a couple post-it notes. Normally I would color then cut, but, and I'm probably going to have, I'm going to pull this out again, but we'll just put them through this way. All right, so here is oh, he's just so cute. All right, set him over there. Now I want to cut my heart out. Cut my heart out. Um, so here is the. This is a lovely lipstick, and come here, come here, come here. All right, this is the largest stitched. Heart, scallop heart from the Be Mine Framelits. Be Mine Stitch Framelits. And this is in the All My Love uh, suite in the Occasions catalog. And Tammy and I just did the entire scoop on that suite uh, this past Tuesday. So if you want to see more about though that particular suite, go on uh, Crafty Sampin' and you can see the replay. That was the, the delayed a week um stamp and scoop but i think we have all things working now all right so the fun thing with this one let me pull these move this out of the way so with this particular um die it not only cuts the stitch shape with the scallop but it cuts the heart separately but i want to use them together so, and I kind of did this on my, uh, if you saw my Valentine's Day uh, blog hop project, this is what I did the same thing. So I used two different uh, materials on that. So I'm placing these back together, but they're upside down. And I'm taking the washi tape, and I think this is pick a, pick a pattern. Uh, I got a lot. Uh, pick a pattern washi tape and this is the skinniest one and flinging it around my craft room I am just going to tape these little sections together so that I have a single um, heart Oops. And I'm going to have to trim smidges here because I'm being being a bit messy, but that's okay. That's okay. Who isn't messy when they craft? I mean, I know I am. So is anybody snowed in? I think I saw Utah. Was it Utah that had like tons and tons of snow? Um, does the heart cutout have stitching? This one does. I don't know, can you see the, the stitching is on this one, but if you, hold on, do, do, do. Me. there we go, and did I get, it? all right, so now it's back to being one piece, but it adds, it's got that additional line, which is kind of cool, so what else do I have to cut out while we're waiting, all right, so this is going to be my greeting, um, and I'm going to use the greeting, because we have the Hey Love, and I did this last time with the little skunk. But there is a, where is he? Sorry to move it around. So there is a little otter here. So there's a greeting that says, you ought to be my valentine. 
So I want to use that, which I've put over here. Okay. So let me bring my, we're going to 15 inches of snow in South Jordan, Utah. So y'all are inside today. Um, all right. So he's got my basic black and I'm hit it with my embossing buddy. And then I got my Versamark and I got my Whisper White, well, my white embossing powder. So I'm gonna put that aside, get that ready to go. I'm gonna fling embossing powder all over the place, ladies. I know it. The day will come and it's going flying across the room. All right, so I'm gonna stamp that right in the middle. And then bring in my embossing powder. all the way. Schools were closed yesterday, which is unheard of in Utah. Ugh. We're, I'm New England. We, we consider ourselves hardy, but school gets called more and more lately. Okay, so I did get the little edge here. So where is my... Uh, I keep a paintbrush, a little unused paint for paint paintbrush. Um, and I just sort of make that go away <laughs> and any other little bits I don't want. So you can use, usually fix your boo-boos with, uh, embossing powders. Okay, let me dig out my, um, heat gun. I'm going to heat it up under my, uh, desk for a minute. Has to have a superstorm coming to Washington State. Oh, I'm ready for spring. Anybody else? <laughs> I'm done with winter. Oh, all right. Here we go. Let's heat up our our greeting. Come yeah, on, moving slow. Let's go. Even the heat gun doesn't want to heat up. So the otter is in the annual catalog, and I don't know the page at the moment, but it's the otter's in the annual catalog. If you look in the back under Postcard Pals, that's the name. All right, so we're going to cut that out. So we bring the big shot over one more time. And pull this out. It's not disturbing that much powder. Must be I have issues. Um, so I will show, so someone was mentioning their embossing buddy not putting out as much, where did I put them? Here we go. As much uh, powder. So what I find is interesting, so I, here I have two embossing buddies. This is the one I got when I started about 10 years ago. Um, and it is much thinner than my new one I just got the other day. Um, you want it, you want it to be leaving a little chalky residue um, on your on your uh, cards that it's literally noticeable, especially on black. You know, so if I take it and drop it, you want to be able to see that you know mark. Um, so if your embossing buddy is not doing that, you might want to get another one or call Stampin' Up about being defective. I'm not sure how embossing buddies, but try, try the drop, pick it up and drop it. Um, I then for like the black, I literally take it and rub it on my jeans to get the, it off. Um, so this is where denim jeans is your best friend. Oh, page 49. Thank you, Wanda. So the postcard pals is on page 49 of the annual catalog. All right. So I'm going to give you a little sneak peek here. Um, I haven't even put these on a magnetic sheet. So coming in uh, March, there is going to be a limited time release. So only for the month of March, there are some complimentary um, products to go with current and upcoming celebration products. So this is the Lily Framelits. These go with the lasting lily 
uh, stamp set that is in um, the celebration right now. And it has two little label dies. So we're going to use one of these labels for the greeting. I have a two pages on my blog fully explaining these uh, the second release of celebration and the limited time product purchase. So if you want to know more, head to Crafty Stampin'. Because um, I know there, it's a little confusing, but I did my best to try to explain what is purchased, what will be um, free, and then what goes with what. So if you have any questions, head over there. So, But I am using the uh, label from the upcoming Lily framelit to cut this out. Okay, so there is that. Isn't that cute? All right, so now I think we are good to start coloring. I always like to give them a little bit of time to to dry. Um, all right, let's bring it in. All right, so where's my... So here's my, my original, and... I have also, let me bring this out. If you go to Crafty Stampin' and you go to Specials, way down the bottom it says Downloads and Resources. So that's where I list, I have links to the stuff, I, the containers I use for my embossing powders. I also have a downloadable Stamping Blends chart here. I don't, I have to update it. It doesn't have the two new ones yet from the occasions, but that should happen, I say, before the week's out. But I'm going to use this to help me identify <laughs> what colors I use. I think I did him in uh, crumb cake and stuff, but it helps me choose what colors I want to use um, or identify colors I have used in the past. So that is available for download on my on Crafty Stampin'. And like I said, but before the week's out, I will add the two new ones, which is the Balmy Blue and the uh, Mossy Meadow. Um, so I'll leave that right there because I'm going to be looking at it. All right. And last but not least, get a pretty sheet to color on so I don't mess up my... Uh... All right. So let's start with, I believe his body is in crumb cake. So I'm going to start with crumb cake light. Uh, and let's see. I'm going to make sure I don't get my hand in the way. And this is, again, he is uh, stamped on in uh, with memento ink on shimmery white. And... So we're going to add the shadow of the dark crumb cake and kind of blend that in a smidge. And I like doing section, oh, I'm doing dark, darn, okay. I said I like doing section by section and I like going light to dark unless I screw up like that and grab the wrong color. Um, so add a little dark for shadow. There we go. And this little tummy area. Another, another leg. And okay, so there's the bottom half. And all right, so let's see. His, I don't know, what are these? Paws? He doesn't have paws. Doesn't have flippers. What what would a otter's 
hands be? Hmm, maybe they're, maybe it's paws. I don't know. I never thought about what an otter's hands and feet would be. There's his arms. Okay, so what else? So it's just his face. All right. Oh, oh again, I start with the dark. My goodness, I am not on the ball today. All right. We'll make it work. Boo boos are purely places for embellishment. Maybe he needs a little kiss right there. All right, I gotta go around the eyes, keep his eyes white. Let's see, pause. People say, pause, Wanda. Yeah, I, I never, you know, otter, platypus, they're one of those animals that a little bit of everything, <laughs> you know? So, all right, let's, okay, so now I'll we'll add a little, kind of blend in his jowls there, and right around the edge, there we go. Okay, pause. Looks like the consensus is pause. Okay, add a little highlight around his eyes. Let's see, can I pull this in more with that? All right, there we go. And looks like I did a little over here too. Try to spend the most time on the face, kind of where where all the action is. All right, and so now I'm just gonna color. His little snout. Okay, so I wasn't going to um, put dimension on that just so it kind of pops out all on its own, but what do I have for pink? I was wondering if I took a little, this is light petal pink. Light petal pink, it's more of an orange. I'm wondering if I did like little rosy cheeks, make them a little more cartoonish. We'll see, we'll see how that looks as it dries. All right, so let's take, I'm gonna take the dark and just do his feet. Don't know what else to call him other than feet. There we go. Okay, so there's the otter's skin and such. So I'm going to close up the uh, crumb cake. So now I want to do his shirt. That I definitely knew was in lovely lipstick. That's real red. Well, uh, lipstick is, that's crumb. Is this lipstick? Lovely lipstick. Here we go. All right, so we're going to start with light. Uh, okay. Just looking for questions. Of course, someone's calling. Oh, they're... no idea. All right, it's not. As long as it's not my kid's school, we're good. Okay. Do his little sleeves first here. All right, and then we'll make those a smidge darker on the tops of the shoulders. Like he's got a shadow from his head. 
and then we're just gonna blend that in a smidge okay and now the bottom of the shirt over here okay so there is the light and all right so I'm gonna add a little dark to this side on the left And a little over here. This is such a rich color. I don't want to go too, too bold. I'm going to stop there. Sometimes it's like, when do you stop? Oh, I, yes. If, uh, so the blends chart, if you go to Crafty Stampin' Specials, then all the way to the bottom of Specials is uh, Downloads and Resources. And there's a, everything on there from the blends list to paper pumpkin uh, inserts and uh, uh, DSP palette colors, you name it, it's on there. So anything I have that's helpful is in that section. Okay, so now let's focus on our um, lamp or uh, mailbox. All right, so I think, did I use suede or did I go with, uh, maybe suede. We'll, we'll do suede for the lamp. I can keep on calling it lamp post. Uh, post office, uh, mailbox. Obviously not enough coffee yet this morning. Dark, light, okay. Uh, for some reason, I'm not getting, I'm gonna pull this over here. My iPads will show me like one comment, whereas the um, my phone's showing me multiple so I can look back. All right, light, 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 light. All right, here we go. And so this, And now I'm because of the wood grain, I'm really just doing odd squiggles other than right up at the the top where it would be darker. Just for variation. Let's see, hold on. Get in between the glass blades. There we go. All right. So next, slate, light and dark smoky slate for the uh, mailbox itself. I want him to stand out more than anything else. Okay. Yes, I stamp, uh, always when you're using your blends, stamp with Memento ink first. You do not want to use uh, stays on. Um, Memento is the king. Okay. There we go. Ah! As long as it doesn't land on my 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 little guy. Okay, and now and this side. You gotta be careful going around the flag so I don't mix colors and then little shadow at the bottom on the top. Okay, so there is the mailbox itself. 
and red. Um, I'm going to go with re light red and see what happens. Light red. All right. Nope, I want to go this way. There we go. So there's the flag. Now I want to add a little shadow to the envelope that he's holding. You can see that. So actually, let's go. So this is light smoky slate. And then I'm taking my color lifter. And this has a tendency to have be very juicy. So I'm just going to kind of wipe some off on my scrap paper here. And I just want to blend the edge of that smoky slate into the card. So it's basically what I'm trying to show is some shadow on the white. So instead of leaving it all the entire envelope all white, um, I'm trying to add a little shadow and depth to that. All right, so now I'm going to do my little flower. So I'm going to change up from what I did. My original was purple, but I'm going to do daffodil. <laughs> so Cindy's at the doctor's office <laughs> waiting for the doctor to come in. No, I don't like that one. I got some nibs. I've used these so much. Some nibs are better than others at this point. There's a good one. All right, so there's my yellow. And just for fun, I'm going to make the center uh, purple with the dark highland heather. And I'm going to make the leaf stem uh, dark old olive. Okay, so now my grass. That is going to be light and dark um, granny apple. I'm going to start with the light granny apple. I'm going to turn it this way. And I'm going to kind of flick, flick that way. Actually, I'm going to pull it up into the where it shows the grass around the mailbox post. There we go. So there's the start of my grass with the light uh, granny apple. So now I'm taking dark granny apple and I am going to start right around his feet, kind of where he might have shadow. back with my light kind of blend that in and then what did I do okay okay some more shadow under the mailbox Okay, which one's like this dark light? And I really just kind of want to blend that in more. And this is light. Again, and we're going to color all down here. I'm not liking how that's coming out. I had, uh, the last one I had colored and then cut, so I'm, uh, Seeing how that is. And do I 
This is Light Old Olive. I'm thinking. And so this is Light Old Olive, and I'm just adding a little bit more around him. The shadow. All right. So now I got to make him pop. And my favorite way to do that is the light pool party. And so we're going to start over here. And again, it's the kind of just the flicking. Um, I've done like the flower. Sometimes I'll just take the nib end and just trace it. I want more of a this to kind of splay out almost kind of like it's radiating off of him and you can see you know, this side, he kind of pops more than this side. You know, it just kind of puts him in like the kind of the space of the environment, more or less. So I'm going to come back to the center part in a second here. Okay, so now oh yeah, I just colored in between him and the mailbox. Okay, so you can see that it really adds to it and it just makes him look, he just pops off the page. All right, so I think he's done. Let's let's put this card together now. If I get all my pieces, parts and pieces back here. Hold on. Move all my markers. I won't put them all back where I got them from later. All right. So I have my. Let's back it up here. All right. So I got my lovely lipstick card base and I am taking, oh, I cut it wrong. Oh, hold on. Okay. So this is the um, designer series paper pack um, for the 2018-2020 in colors and I want my stripes going the other way. So. No, I want stripes going the other way. So, oops. All right. Stamp and trimmer. Oh, where's my... Oh. Hold on. Now look. We're going to cut in this four by five and a quarter. So four this way. No. Four this way. Five and a quarter this way. There we go. All right, now my stripes are going the right way. Oh, I did not notice that earlier. Okay, so now, now that the stripes are going the right way, we find the snail. I'm gonna add that here. Did I pull you back too far? I did. 
Um, now, I like the hearts because he's sending love. So these are the hearts. This is from the All My Love paper pack. More snail. And normally I would put this like in the center or maybe at like a third at the top. But he is going to be the top. So I have and I want to see the heart. So I put it down here. Um, like but on the third one third mark here. And again, on my quest to make uh, vellum go on back order. Vellum's great um, to add texture, but not uh, a lot of texture, um, some, phys uh, some interest. Or if you wanna take something and tone it down, like you got some DSP that's just really bright and very busy, um, by putting a layer of vellum over, you can tone it down. And I felt all this was competing with him a little too much. So I thought, I could keep all the same colors and it was ta would take it down a notch. So I'm going to apply vellum and I'm going to stick the uh, snail under where the heart's going to go because you will see the snail the adhesive through it. So there we go. All right, so now here is the heart that we have put back together. I'm going to stick some dimensionals on the back. All right. Oh, hold on. I got washi tape sticking up over the top. Okay. Is that centered? It's not centered. Come up, come up, come up. Let go. All right. There we go. Now I take my otter and you can see the earlier, the first stamped image <laughs> colored by the image on the other side and more dimensionals. I'll come off all of them. Okay. And that is going right in the middle and my greeting again, more dimensionals. Alrighty. Tell how many times I've cut through the wrong way. I do it all the time. <laughs> I have a stack of paper that's already pre-cut in various directions because I did it the wrong way. Now, all right, so that there 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 it is as is. But okay. So I thought I got these heart epoxy shapes. Um Uh, I was thinking, thinking, winking, and nod. So I got one I already colored uh, lovely lipstick. But I think, let's see, I'm, come up. I'm going to put them on the vellum just because. Come on. I'm trying to get the. Paper, come on, paper piercer to get a hold. All right. Over here. Damn it. Uh, do I put this one here? Oh well, if we're going, if we're going for it. We're going for it. All right. So the one with a bunch of hearts, little extra hearts, and the ones without. So I just think he's so cute. So so cute. Okay, hang around because we are doing the giveaway right now. So if you are here and have not left a comment, just pop in, say hi real quick. Um, let's see. So here are today's giveaways. Actually. Wrong, I, I screwed up the graphic. So the giveaway is right now we're doing the assorted glimmer paper and then a, the watch later is the home to roost. Um, so pop on uber quick right now and just say hi 
and you'll get entered for the Glimmer paper. Okay, well, I take one second to uh, pull up. I have to refresh over here. Refresh. All right. Um, oh, this thing moves. All right, hold on. This is an odd website I found to do this. All right, so here we go. So I am going to hit that big start button. You're going to see names fly by, and then um, uh, uh, a name will pop up which says the winner is, and that will be the winner of our uh, Glimmer paper. Bum, bum, bum. And it is Vicki Spicer. Congratulations to Vicki. Vicki, please, if you head over to craftystampin.com, and if you go up to specials, and then give away and then click the claim your prize button. You have uh, two weeks to do that and I will mail that Glimmer paper out to you. Anyone who was looking, if you had two specials, downloads and resources. Kim, in, we're a little slow today. I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. Oh, come on. I guess everyone's jumping on to get the downloads already. Um, here is where I have, um, Connections to the cases I put the embossing powders in, uh, wish list, shopping list, clear mount case inserts, um, current and prior, any of the uh, ink, uh, current color selections for uh, hex codes and such. I have the DSP color palette going back a couple years. I have inserts for various um embellishments, old hex codes, there's the stamping blend sampler, uh, card cutting mats, and paper pumpkin inserts. So that is all there and helpful. And like I said, it'll probably be about a week. Within the week, I will update the, uh, ins the blends palette with the two newest colors. Um, and there we go. So I will be back with Tammy on Tuesday for the scoop. We are going to go over all the new second release uh, celebration products as well as the new limited edition products that will be available to purchase in March that are coordinating with uh, current celebration products. So thank everybody. I will be back doing uh, copying crafts next Thursday. So I hope everyone has a wonderful day, wonderful weekend. I stay warm, stay dry, stay inside and craft. So I will talk to everybody later. Have a great day. Bye.